Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Mayan J and today I'm bringing you another nice unboxing. This is going to be the Gianni E-Life S5.5. Now, as we know or heard, this is going to be the thinnest phone in the world. So I'm very excited. I mean, it's not the cheapest out there right now. I paid about 470 for this device with DHL. I got it from iBaby888 and I also have a Z2 clone. Yes, a Sony Xperia C2 clone is not a 1-1 clone, but it's also very close. So let's go ahead and open the package and see what we got inside. And then here we can see, as always, um, iBaby protects it very well. Now, what is strange for me that sometimes the, the package, I don't know if this is custom who does it, they opened it on the side here, but I don't mind because they actually did me a big favor. All I hope is that the device is inside and it wasn't seized. So here I can already see the Z2 clone and here we can see the front picture of it but I'm going to do a separate uh, unboxing video for this later on. But right now the main subject is going to be the Gianni and it comes sealed. I baby told me that he decided not to open it and wow I am so excited. I've been waiting for this device now for some time. Here in the front already we can see the eLife S5.5 logo it has some sort of a sticker here. I don't know what this is for. Then it comes sealed all the way around. On the back, uh, we see some Chinese writing already, but we have no specs uh, so far. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and see what we got. It has the MTK6592, which is, uh, which is an octa-core device. Also has 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal memory, and a 1080p display. So let's go ahead and break the seal. Uh, this is a premium Chinese made phone. So it's not a clone of anything. It's, uh, it's actually, I heard, um, i seen on a few forums that this device is actually the thinnest phone in the world. And here we can already see it. Let me take it out. I'm just curious to see how thin it is. And oh my God, this device is super, super thin. I mean, it is definitely 5.5. I will have to measure it with my ruler. But so far, I can tell you that it is a beautiful device. Here in the back, we have the Gianni logo. We have the 13 megapixel with the LED flash in the back and then some sort of a microphone. I do believe that this is so that when you put it on speaker mode, this microphone gets activated and also serves as a noise cancellation. Then here at the bottom, we have the actual loudspeaker. Then here we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with the standard microphone. On the right side of the device is uh, pretty much we have the SIM tray. I'm going to try to focus this for you guys the best way possible. I think this is going to be a micro SIM card slot. Then at the very top you have the charging port with some sort of antenna here. And then on the left hand side you have the power button and the volume rockers located at the same spot. Which I actually like because sometimes I prefer, you know, just so that I don't get confused. For the buttons to be on one side of the device is something I like. Then this device also has a 5 inch multi touch screen which is the uh, 1080p version. Then on the front we have an actual 5 megapixel camera. Now I don't know if you guys can see this already but from the quality of the lens I will suspect that yes it is actually true this is a 5 megapixel camera and I've seen it on many reviews where they mention the same thing. And then here we have the ear speaker, the sensors uh, such as proximity sensor, motion sensor and all that will be here at the front. Now this phone also carries the Android 4.4.2 Jelly Bean, but it being so famous for being so thin, I do believe that developers are working into getting it with um, Android KitKat, which is uh, the new version of Android, and I really can't wait to see that as well. Here we can see already that on viewing angles, it has beautiful colors. I mean, of course, we would expect that from an IPS screen and also 1080p, so I think this is going to be the first boot. And I'm not sure, but I think iBaby also told me that it's going to be in Chinese right now. So I think I have a way of getting this resolved. Here we have um, the, I believe this is going to be the main page so far. Uh, I'm not sure how to use it. No, that actually was the lock screen. You see, I got confused there. So let's go to settings. There we go, English. So it comes in English language and also Chinese. So here we can see that I had converted it into uh, English. And so far the quality looks super, super nice. But the main thing here that interests me the most is how thin it is. So sorry guys, I came distracted with this, but let me show you what else that comes inside the box. I believe we're going to have some sort of um, hard shell case. And it looks very nice. I'm not a, you know, I'm not really a fan of these cases. I would rather have like a rubber type of case, just as I have on my Samsung Galaxy S5. You know, this is my favorite because it also protects uh, the phone on the uh, 
around the bezel and also the frame so that's why I prefer it but this is actually very cool that comes with it uh, here we have a screen protector with a cleaning cloth we have another screen protector with another cleaning cloth so that's great we have the manuals now the manuals I do believe that they're gonna be mostly in Chinese but that doesn't really bother me because I don't read them anyways nowadays even a kid knows how to use a phone uh, and then here we have some sort of uh, manuals or something about the warranty I believe um, so not sure I gotta read it I think it's gonna be for the warranty here we have the earphones and as you can see the earphones look a very good quality the packaging on this device looks a lot like the Evo X Play 3S looks very similar and then here we have the micro size charging cable we also have the SIM tray opener and it looks very very nice so that's great to have and then last but not least I got the American wall charger it simulates kind of like the Apple style but this time it's oval and it's not squared so that's great and then we have nothing else inside the box so I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm and see if the Gianni has the Android Jelly Bean 4.4.2 so let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and wow I mean this device is just beautiful uh, let's go here to where it says about phone and here we can see that it does have the Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean let's go ahead and tap on it many times and yes it is actually true so I mean this device again is not a clone now so far I noticed that here the soft touch keys which is the menu button the home button and the back button they light up but they're not super bright uh, but you know other than that it looks so far like a nice device and you guys gonna be expecting my review very soon well that's it for this video if you have any questions please comment below subscribe for more like my videos and I will bring more thanks for watching and have a good one